I just learned uh, today that we've, uh, we, that is Ghana Rugby, um, will be hosting the Bronze Cup here in Ghana. We put an application in with others, but we did not necessarily expect such a rapid response, um, being the new kids on the block and just being promoted. And I just have to say congratulations to all of those involved in Ghana Rugby who have understood what the bigger vision is and the bigger picture is. We need to extend a hand of thanks, as I always do, to my brother, uh, President Bouja, President of African Rugby, uh, for the belief that he has in our way, eccentric, mad, different, but compliant. And it's important that we recognize that we work with his team, headed up by Coralie, an extraordinary woman, um, who has given us hope in terms of what we do. And it's hope that gives you the encouragement to pursue what others would not pursue. And understanding that there is only one way, a global way, to do it, to excel, to achieve, and to be different. And that's what we do here in Ghana. So I say congratulations. To the boys who play rugby, to the young men and women who've been following it, to the people who have joined in the belief that the greatest game on earth is what is going to give them hope to be disciplined in the world that we live in, the harsh world we live in. I say congratulations to you and be enthused. Be enthused, be excited by the fact that in 2017, we've gone from nothing to winning our zonal uh, tournament unbeaten. Uh, we've been invited to the Africa Sevens and now have an Africa ranking. We are full members of the family of World Rugby in 2017. And we've done it by winning off the field and now winning on the field. We haven't gone to Europe to go and pick up all the best players in Europe who are of Ghanaian origin, of which there are many. We are trying to develop it from in out. Yes, winning is fundamentally important, but playing the game is what it's all about. And I say hats off to everybody who loves rugby. Hats off to those in the rest of the world who will watch and see what we can do in Africa as well as they can do with limited resources. And I say hats off to all of those in West Africa who understand that anybody can do what we have achieved if they put a mind to it. Thank you. Thank you.